How's it going guys? Welcome to the FM Dugout. We are back for another episode of the British Steel Challenge, still with Wraith Rovers in the Scottish Championship. And today we take on Queen of the South in the Scottish League Challenge Cup semi-final, which of course is one of the competitions we still have to win on the challenge. And given the rules of the League Challenge Cup are that you must be in the championship or lower, if we do get promotion this year, we won't be able to try and win this as Wraith Rovers for another couple of seasons um, and we would actually have to get relegated um, if we go up next year. So in the league we are currently 16 points clear with 10 games to go so win half the games and we have won the title so it's looking pretty good there. Although in the last episode we hammered Inverness Cali Thistle 5-1 away from home in the Scottish Cup. We actually slipped up in the league in the next match against Partick Thistle with a one-all draw at home. Fairly even in terms of the number of attempts at goal, uh, but possession-wise we slightly edged it. Uh, Andy Rose getting sent off in the 72nd minute, McHattie scoring and Abdul Osman in the 81st minute, which was an absolutely amazing goal from Osman. Um, really, really good. In fact, I might even just look at it here. So McHattie had a free kick which he dispatched fairly well. And then here we have Abdul Osman's rocket of a goal from outside the box. Um, so Ziggy Gordon picking up the ball here. And you can see Osman in this position, just loitering around the box. And the ball breaks to him here and he just hits it first time. Um, disappointed, I suppose, that Oxley was beaten from there. Um, but, you know, it was a cracking goal. So one all that finished and it means that instead of being 18 points clear we're now 16 um, but we're still in a commanding position. I still do think we will go up as champions which is why today is really important that we, we win this game. So um, let's get on into it. There's you know, really nothing else to cover. Um, in the other tie we have Thistle against TNS. Not sure how I expect to go through, possibly TNS. Um, Queen of the South uh, are playing a 4-3-3 or a variation of it. Um, yeah, I mean, we've had we've had good games and bad games against them, to be honest. You can see out of 12 matches, we have edged it um, more uh, in our favour. So I do think that um, we, we certainly should be winning this game. But the last time we played them, uh, we lost 2-1 at home, albeit there was a red card in that game as well. So for today, yeah, this formation, the Christmas tree one serves us well against Cali Thistle. I see no reason to, to kind of change that. Unfortunately, Conor McGrandles is kind of struggling for fitness and I suppose as well Jordan Thompson. Um, and with Andy Rose suspended following his red card against Thistle, um, he won't be available for selection today. Uh, Hugo Logan is cup tied, as is Martin Bain at right back. And Ryan Stevenson is still injured. So... This is the team we will line up with, and it's, it's a strong team. To say, I would have preferred the fitness to be a little bit higher, so hopefully we can avoid going to extra time, um, and it will certainly help us out. Um, as far as the instructions are concerned, again, I think it, it worked um, a treat last time against Cali Thistle, so we will stick with that and um, see whether we can get ourselves to the final of this competition, and hopefully we can do just that. Um, yep, so it looks as though they are going with the defensive 4-1-2-3 uh, option. And um, we'll need to watch out, I suppose, for McHattie and Thompson. I can't remember if their instructions are telling them uh, to go forward. Um, well, there we go. We've got the, the revenge uh, team talk, which, as I said before, always seems to be the, the preferred option when it's available. Um, so let's have a look at McHattie. No, he's not being told to get forward, so um, certainly sitting a little bit more defensively and um, yeah, should be okay with that. So let's get this game underway and we'll go to extended highlights for this game. Given the fact that we're straight into the commentary, uh, it should be a fairly small episode and we get the game underway. So I guess all the effort so far this season um, as, as Wraith Rovers... It's kind of going to get wasted if we don't get through here. Um, it's going to feel like 
we just failed. But I kind of said last time round, if, if we actually don't get through and we do win the league, I probably won't be sticking around here um, because I don't really want to get relegated as them to, to come back and try and win it again. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see how it goes. Hopefully we won't be in that position and we'll get a win today as uh, Queen of the South stop one of our attacks. Robinson with the ball forward cut out by Davidson, Thompson, Fraser playing it back to McGrandles, deep line playmaker there, Harper picking out McCathy in loads of space and left first time cross, Vaughn with a header and that really should have been put at least on target to make the keeper work it's gone over the bar and um, that's quite disappointing from Lewis Vaughn, our top goal scorer and Queen of the South now on the ball trying to get into the game a little bit more uh, possession's just tipped in their favour now, McHattie goes to ground and wins the ball back Thompson forward to Fraser, to Harper Queen of the South getting back in numbers here so their defensive formation is certainly getting the numbers back and they're kind of doubling up, they're chasing every man down so they will tire out, McHattie again first time cross, this time the header's there from Fraser and it's just wide of the post Probably more difficult chance than Vaughan's. Um, did a little bit better as well. But uh, still no no. Five minutes in. Davidson dispossesses his man there. McCarty to McGrandles. McGrandles with a 91% pass completion. Um, which is really quite impressive. Quite happy with that. As McCarty again. Getting a lot of the play down that left flank. Fraser should have picked him out. But he just... Tries to bulldoze his way through. Harper with the effort outside of the left boot. Wide of the right hand post. And so far, three shots at goal. All three off target. Not looking too good for our finishing today. Um, but I suppose you've got to create the chances in the first place. Um, which is good that we're actually doing that. As Queens haven't done anything yet. Vaughn now coming forward 25 yards from goal. Just surrounded by red jerseys. Really didn't stand a chance there. McGrandles forward again to Harper, back to Thompson, just trying to find that pass through to just cut them open. Vaughn now will go wide again to McCarthy, first time cross, once again Fraser off the crossbar, and Harper's there for the rebound. Ten minutes in, and we're 1-0 up. So all things going rather smoothly there. Um, thought the chance had passed when we hit the crossbar, Harper just not letting up. Uh, McCarthy again involved keeper well beaten Harper just very very quick on the mark there to get the ball into the back of the net and uh, we now have a corner if we could double our lead we will feel much more comfortable here and we have Harper with a deflected effort um, I'm not sure if it hit McGrandles if it did I'm surprised he's not trying to claim the goal 14 goals this season now for Harper he's actually come into it a little bit more McGrandles that didn't hit him, it actually hit the defender. <laughs> it's just because McGrandall's uh, name was, was kind of highlighted there. I thought maybe it'd hit him. Um, but that's fantastic. 2 0 up, 20 minutes in, and um, looking pretty good. Although a mix up there between the two centre backs lets Morrison through. Oxley with the save probably could have done a little better than that. He's given away the corner, but he hasn't conceded and he hasn't pushed it back into the path of Morrison. Miller plays the corner in towards six yard box. Oxley gets there, catches it well. I must admit, I've been pretty pleased with Oxley. I um, thought with losing Dawson, we wouldn't have uh, a very good time of, of trying to replace him. But Oxley on a free transfer, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Um, it's halfway now through the first half, and we are. In control, got the possession, got the two goals, and uh, looking good for the final, I think, really. Um, McGrandles is tiring out a little bit here at half time, 73%. Um, Lewis Vaughan is struggling somewhat. Yeah, I think. I think we'll just. I mean, to be honest, I'm not one of these managers who changes things for the sake of changing it. Um, let's go with a bit of passion there we go um, you know if, if players are playing well enough and you're in command of the game 
why change things around? Um, especially when it's an important game, and it is. It's not the sort of game that we want to throw away this two goal lead. So, you know, if we get to three now, um, or if Kyle Jacobs gets sent off there, but he's not going to, um, then we might look to, to kind of swap things around. But certainly, McGrandles, until he gets down to about 65%, he should be fine. And I suppose it helps in a way that the league is almost a foregone conclusion because it means we can kind of rest players if we get another chance. Vaughn, and uh, he's struggling today. That was a pretty poor effort from the top goal scorer. Uh, should have done a lot better from that range. As uh, Oxley will take the goal kick, putting it far down the pitch, looking for Harper who falls over. Vaughn is dispossessed by Pittman. And he's just giving the ball away. Really, Queens are not doing a very good job um, of retaining possession. As we now move forward again, short passing through the middle of the park. Davidson has done well stepping in today for Rose. Vaughn now with the effort, and that's tame. Easily saved by Robinson. And, yeah, I, I kind of want to take Vaughn off at the moment um, to give Robbie Muirhead a bit of a go. I think I probably will. Um, he has struggled, and McGrandles are now 68%. Uh, morale's not that high, so bring on Nicholas Patterson for the remainder of the game. Um, he does suit a deep line playmaker. That's fine. Robbie Muirhead, yeah, we'll keep him as the poacher. I think that's decent enough at it. There's no need to really change um, the way we're playing up top. We'll see how it goes. But, um, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, third goal would certainly kill the game off. If Queen's score, uh, it could be kind of squeaky bum time. As uh, Hooper will take a short free kick. And we see Queen now trying to come forward. Hamill to Jacobs. Back to Hamill. And going down the right wing here to Insel. Looking for some kind of opening. Miller now. And you can see just the blue jerseys, nice camel controlled. They're not, uh, you know, charging people down too quickly. They're just kind of getting in at them a little bit. Um, but the chance here, cleared by Yoma, only as far as Stewart. And he's managed to put that in. And now, now the game gets interesting. Uh, we have 20 minutes remaining. And we're only one up here. Uh, Ayoma with the clearance. Um... A little bit disappointing that we weren't able to clear it any further. Phil Oxley maybe could have done a little better with that. Um, but, you know, not hitting the panic button yet. We'll just uh, encourage the players. Although, Queen's now potentially um, having that a bit of a confidence boost, I suppose, from that goal. Um, certainly, as I say, a third goal from ourselves would, would kill this off as a tie. But Harper has lost the ball. Stewart now... Progressing forward, chased by Thompson, <coughs> McBurney <coughs> to Jacobs. McCatty cuts that out well. <coughs> Thompson through Fraser, and he's wasted that. Absolutely wasted that. <coughs> As I'll take a drink of water before I die here. Right, so a few minutes left, and it would be a real kick in the teeth if Jacobs were to score from here, but that's a wild effort. <coughs> oh, it's one of those games, isn't it? Really should have had this out of sight, I think. Um, disappointing second half performance, really, from us. Patterson now lays off Davidson. Will he take an effort from outside the box? He does. At least he picks up the rebound and he should look to play back to McCarty. McCarty's just given that away. That's, that's not what we're looking to do at this stage in the game. Uh, and Queens have actually gone to a 4-3-3, which I've only just noticed there. We struggle with 4-3-3 and I'm a little bit worried here, but McCarty gets the challenge in. Um, I'm actually going to go to the advanced tactics. Uh, I, I really, really do not like 4-3-3. Um, with just the the two centre backs and two full backs, so I'm going to go to three centre backs just for the last few minutes. 
to see the game out, hopefully we will defend this corner well as uh, Miller plays that in towards the penalty spot and Oxley was just flailing in the air there, uh, really struggling to get to it and we got a bit lucky there. Miller again just playing a repeat corner, this time Oxley managing to catch it and with a minute left in the clock, I'm fairly confident we will see this through. And if we don't, um, yeah, it's going to be a bit frustrating to say the least. Not the greatest performance again, as you can see from the ratings, but sometimes football is just about results. Um, well, all the time it's about the results if you want to be successful. Um, you know, and the performance is really the kind of icing on the cake as uh, Thompson now loses the ball. That That's just not what you want to see with a minute left. Uh, Ayoma getting in the way of the ball and uh, hopefully he won't play a crazy ball he doesn't, he plays it to Fraser Thompson now forward to Harper is there one last chance for us here? no <laughs> I think is the straightforward answer to that and 10 seconds left that's surely got to be a, a lot more difficult than it should have been really um 2-0 up in the first 20 minutes and we just failed to capitalise on it and allowed Queen of the South back into the game but we have won and we are through to the final and we can look forward to that and let's see who we have in the final whether oh, when did they play? Um, are they later today? I'm not sure when Party Thistle were playing TNS um, uh, do, 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 do. Where is it? Really? Have they still not played it yet? No, they haven't played it yet. So that must be today. Um, yeah, whatever. <laughs> now let's progress. We want to see who we have um, in the final. And here we go. TNS, it is. Uh, who are sitting top in the Welsh Premier League. So. It should be an interesting encounter for us. Um, just how comfortable was that? Yeah, it was pretty comfortable. <coughs> Could be quite a challenging game for us. Um, don't really know much about the team at all. Is there anyone we can look at? You know, obviously, scouts don't have any kind of knowledge of the club. Um, Corey Francis. Corey Francis, is that name familiar? Yeah, probably don't know him from Swansea to be honest um, alright well we have that to look forward to um, the draw is there on the 30th of March so given the fact I've got the Celtic game in the Scottish Cup quarter final before then that will be the next episode The pro as I say I doubt there will be a league game uh, uh, that will cover as a live come four league games there win those and if Queen of the South lose in any of them then I think we've, we've pretty much won the title by the, the Sterling game so yeah the season is coming to um, the kind of business end and uh, let's see whether we can win ourselves any trophies but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode if you have please leave a like and a comment really helps me out thank you for watching and as ever until the next time I'll see you when I see you.